God never said that the journey would be easy, but he did say that the arrival would be worthwhile. Max Lucado We arrived in Rock Sound of Luther just before another front crossed our path. We probably, in hindsight, should have anchored better, but we felt we could endure a little rough waters to be set for a week here in Rock Sound near the dinghy dock. The winds and waters were rough as we spent a few days on the boat waiting out this weather. As the seas began to calm down and our swinging and rocking became less and less, we prepared to explore Rock Sound. In an article titled The Men Who Built Rock Sound, Eleuthera, in a pre-independent Bahamas 1940, we learned of the three men who helped make Rock Sound in Southern Eleuthera. Rock Sound Eleuthera was once known as Rex Sound. It was called Rex Sound during the ferocious pirate years when untold numbers of ships found themselves literally wrecked in pieces in the shallow waters. Over a hundred years, suffering under the infliction or inflection in pronunciation, Rex Sound became Rock Sound. The pre-independence development vision for Rock Sound began in an era of stagnation, brutal poverty, and a level of primitiveness which crippled the social development of the inhabitants of the out islands of the Bahamas. Enter three men, Austin T. Levy, Arthur Vining Davis, and Juan Tripp. These are names which should be carved indelibly into historical, economic, and business journals of the Bahamas. They were the dreamers and developers of Rock Sound in the pre-independence era of the Bahamas. You can find the link to this article below. One of the first places in Rock Sound we planned to visit was the Ocean Hole. Emmett had shared it with us in Hatchet Bay. But first we wanted some local cuisine. Okay, well maybe we use just a cheeseburger. Lewis's Delights had the cheapest and best burger around with a view of Rock Sound Harbor. And we were able to grab some pictures of Journey. Now off to see the ocean hole and explore the town. World renowned Blue Hole, an inland ocean swimming hole, is located on the southern edge of Rock Sound and rumored to have healing powers. A seemingly bottomless natural limestone formation, it's said to have been explored by Jacques Cousteau. The ocean hole is filled with tropical fish who will sidle up and greet visitors. The fish that live in Ocean Hole were caught and put there by local residents. There is no fishing allowed, but you can swim and feed the fishes. Of course we had to take a swim, and although the water was brackish and not very clear, some of the fish were larger than we saw in many places we snorkeled. They obviously wanted food from us. Finally, it was time to dive off the wall. Not sure about the healing powers, but it was a nice swim after days on the boat. Good. We ended the evening by snagging some hot homemade bohemian bread just as the sun went down. Our first taste, and we were impressed, but we had not met Mama yet. You'll meet her soon when we cross over to the Exumas. Our final destination in Rock Sound was to visit the Spider Cave, also known as the Cathedral Cave. This small but impressive cave is located behind a small ocean hole just south of Rock Sound. The short rock line trail to the cave goes around the left side of the ocean hole and continues beyond to a slanted wooden ladder. The cave itself is fairly short, but the roots cascading down from the trees on top of the cave, along with the majestic rays of light casting through the ceiling, are quite breathtaking. We enjoyed exploring the cave, watching the bats watch us, and of course Batman needed a picture in the bat cave. While in Rock Sound, we met Chris and Aaron on bare feet from the Boston, Massachusetts area. They gave us so much insight into the Bahamas on where to go and what to see. Erin also taught me the best and easy go-to sundowner appetizers. We enjoyed hanging out and laughing as the sun went down and were fortunate enough to run into them again in Georgetown, the Exumas. Another successful experience comes to an end. In our next video, we will explore the entire Luther Island by car. But after exploring the Spider Cave, we were preparing to leave Eleuthera to cross over to the Exumas. We did not drive to the far southern end of the island, but we did get a peek as we crossed through the Davis Channel, which I'm sure is named for Arthur Davis, and saw one of the few marinas at Cape Eleuthera.
As I just shared, our next video will explore Eleuther from the glass window bridge to Rock Sound by car. Yes, Steve will drive on the wrong side of the car, on the wrong side of the road. Another new adventure. You want to talk about your experience driving over there on the right side of the car, on the left side of the road? Well, I haven't driven a car since, well, it's been over a month since I've driven a car. And I have to get in a car where the steering wheel is on the right hand side of the car and then drive on the left hand side of the road. Still in the same place, except I gotta use my off hand. So, 